Okay, we're gonna do lesson 13-2, equivalent fractions on a number line. Now we have already done equivalent fractions using our fraction flip book and drawing pictures for them, and now we're gonna do the same exact thing, find fractions that are the same, but using a number line. Now the most important thing here is that you always draw a second number line. Do not try to write a second set of fractions with a totally different denominator below this one. So draw a totally separate number line, okay? It needs to be just as long. You need to bring your zero down here. You need to bring your one down there, okay? So go ahead and draw that. So you can see that they, this is where the number lines kind of divide right there, okay? So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and of course we know one is eight eighths, okay? Now, here we have the second number line. It needs to be divided into fourths. So this is two-fourths, one-fourth, and three-fourths. You see that? So they're two separate number lines. It's kind of nice to just draw like a dividing line in between, okay? So that you have above the purple line and then a separate number line below the purple line. So on this number line here, one-half right here, is the same distance from zero, from zero to here, on this number line from zero, it's the same distance, it's equal to four eighths. So those are equivalent fractions. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Esteban and Jacob, so this is Esteban, because Esteban painted two sixths of his wall, and Jacob, needs a separate number line. We are not going to share number lines here. Okay, but our zero has to be straight down and our one straight down. So Jacob painted one third. So we're gonna be in thirds. Esteban is in sixth. So again, I'm gonna draw a line right here, okay? This is our one of our number lines over here, and then our other number line. Oops, whoa, I went way too far. Is here, oh my goodness, that's a whole nother problem down there. Okay. So, we have two separate number lines. The first one is one sixth, some number is six, three six, four six, five six, and six six. So fill in what that one should be right there. Ignoring this two thirds and this other box. Okay, just fill in what that number should be on that number line. Should be two six, right? One six, two six, three six, four six, five six, six six. Now here, this one. Ignore this one down here. So it's just this number line. He painted one third. So if I want three sections, I have to draw two parts. So I have, and it's even kind of showing me where these tick marks should be, right? Here's two thirds. So which one should this be? One third, right? Zero, one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, right? So in looking at these two number lines, we can see that two-sixths and one-third are equivalent. They're both the same distance from zero to here as it is from zero to here, okay? So two-sixths and one-third, same distance. So we're showing that those fractions, they, they completed the same. Esteban completed two six, Jacob completed one third, but it's the same. Okay, let's look at the next one. Write the two missing fractions that name the same point under the number line on the right. Okay, again, first thing, we have got to draw a second number line down here. No way, Jose, are we gonna try to operate two different denominators on one number line. Okay. So, we already have our super cool purple line dividing them. So, this one up, oh, I didn't know, look at me. I didn't divide it the right place. It should be divided right there, okay? Sorry about this, this is icky. That's okay, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, okay? And now I need you to fill in this one right here. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, something eight, seven eighths, eight eighths. Fill that in right there. 
should be six eighths. And then if this is one fourth, two fourth, this should be three fourths, okay? So those are equivalent. Okay, let's draw a number line to show that one half is equivalent to three six, okay? So let's use this one. We'll make this one our one half. So if we want two sections, we are going to draw one line. Okay, we got our zero, zero, one, one. Okay, we have zero, one. That is one half. Okay, and the other one we want is three, six. So if we want six sections, we have to draw five lines. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they want us to show that one half is equivalent to three, six. So pause, draw this, draw this, and label those down there. Okay, so it should look like this, showing that one half and three sixths are lined up on our two number lines. That means this distance is three sixths of the way, and this distance is one half of the way. Therefore, they are equivalent. Okay, on the back, show that four six is not equivalent to three fourths. Okay, so draw two number lines, pause it and come back. I'm gonna put you down here for a second. Four six. Okay. Okay, so we have, we're looking at four six compared to three fours. So if it's three fours, we need to divide this into four sections, which is three lines, one fourth, Two fourths, three fourths. So they want us to show that three fourths is not the same as four six. And that's true. They are not lined up together. Um, they are not lined up together. Therefore, they are not equivalent fractions. All right. Good job. Thank you. Bye.